now, preview time. So let's take a look at what's coming your way.
What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Casa D18 Studios channel. Thank you for joining me here today on this lovely Sunday. And it is time once again to step into the war zone. That's right. It's time for another brand new episode of the Weekly Acquisition Report, the show where I show to you the newest additions to my ever growing movie library. And today we're going to show off some stuff that I've picked up at your normal retail stores, Best Buy, Walmart. Um, there's a few from Big Lots in there, those type of places. So sit back and enjoy. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again for another brand new installment of The War Zone, the weekly acquisition report. And like I said during the introduction, today we've got some stuff from your standard retailers, Walmart, Best Buy, a few from Big Lots, etc. Nothing here was too expensive. I think the most that I paid for anything was $10. Everything was cheaper than that because I'm just not going to spend that much money at a full price retailer when there's Goodwills, there's Penny Lane Records, there's Facebook Marketplace, there's pawn shops, and all these other places where I could find the same stuff, essentially, for a fraction of that cost. So for me to pay more than 10 bucks for something at a standard retailer, it's pretty much got to be something that blows my mind away, or it's got to be a brand new release. Let's get right into it, though. The first few are Blu-rays that I got from different places, and I'll let you know where those were. Um, the first handful of them are from Best Buy. I picked up the romantic comedy Juno with Ellen Page, Michael Sarah, Jason Bateman, J.K. Simmons. Seen this a couple times, thought it was cute. May add it to my um, chick flicks for February as I count up to valentine's day but i enjoy this film like i said it was probably about five bucks so i figured add that to the collection of course this next one i've had since before i reviewed it on the channel i just haven't had enough like retail stuff to really do a warzone episode so it's been sitting here but i grabbed top gun tom cruise of course, when I did movies with one sequel, I did a double feature day the last day of the month. I did Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick, and I'll link both of those up here in case you missed them. But I had picked this up in order to do my Top Gun review. Had to add it to the collection as well, man. That's an 80s classic. The Hitman's Bodyguard. Ryan Reynolds, Sam Jackson, Gary Oldman, Salma Hayek. Never seen this. I know there's a sequel to it, so assuming that we don't turn this into a trilogy here in the near future, maybe the next time I do movies with only one sequel, I'll cover this and the second one. But I've heard a lot of good things about this. I'm definitely going to check this out somewhere down the road here. And the last one I got from Best Buy, I had seen advertised in some of my groups this movie on Blu-ray, Blu-ray and digital was only $2. That's the whole reason I went and bought it. Two bucks. You can't beat that. It's called Reminiscence with Hugh Jackman. Slip cover, digital code, again, $2. You can't beat that for a brand new release movie. About the only place you're going to find something like this for a better price is a Dollar Tree. And I'm starting to hear rumors that Dollar Tree is going to kind of withdraw their movies and not sell them anymore. So that's that's going to be very interesting if that develops, because that was part of how I started this show, was because I'm a huge Dollar Tree shopper, and I was finding all kinds of stuff at Dollar Tree. So it's definitely going to give me a lot less content if that is, in fact, the way Dollar Tree corporate decides to go and they withdraw their movies. Now, a week or two ago, I showed a few movies that I picked up from Penny Lane Records. This next Blu-ray I also picked up from there, but it's brand new, still sealed in plastic. Albert Finney, 
as Scrooge. You guys know me. I'm a huge fan of Christmas movies. I've got a bunch of different versions of A Christmas Carol or Scrooge. I didn't have this one, though. So for only $6.99, brand new, sealed, add it to the collection. Of course, one more telling of A Christmas Carol to get to when I do my month of December. I've already more or less got this December planned as basically what I was going to do last December when I ended up taking that hiatus. It's just going to get moved over to this year. So December is already booked for me. This is not going to be part of it. But there are so many tellings of A Christmas Carol and the Ebenezer Scrooge Bob Cratchit story that I can probably do a week of those every year for the next three to five years. No joke. So this will definitely get covered down the road there. Next one we got at, I want to say it was either Borders or Barnes and Noble. I forget which at the mall here local to us. It was $9.99, 50% off American Psycho. This is something my girlfriend picked up. She enjoys it. She wanted me to see it. I've never seen this, believe it or not. But it's definitely one I'm willing to give a look to. Christian Bale. Enjoyed him in Batman. Enjoyed him in Newsies. We'll see what happens when I take a look at him in American Psycho. The next couple we picked up at Walmart, they were hiding in the $5.750 bins. The first one is Knives Out with Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, Jamie Lee Curtis, Michael Shannon, Don Johnson. We've got um, Christopher Plummer. Huge all-star cast. I don't know a lot about it. It's one that my girlfriend picked out. So I'll definitely have to figure out a way to book this into a month down the road here. An ingenious riff on classic murder mysteries. That sounds like it's up my alley. The cast looks outstanding. I'm definitely looking forward to covering this at some point. Then we've got a triple feature collection. We've got Elysium, Looper, and the reboot of Total Re- None of these I've seen before. I've seen the original Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I've never seen the, the reboot with Colin Farrell, Kate Beckinsale, and Jessica Biel. And then Looper is Bruce Willis, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Emily Blunt. And Elysium, it looks like it's, okay, it's Jodie Foster and Matt Damon. All three of those have decent casts that I'm definitely willing to give a look at those for, see how they came up. I think Total Recall would probably be the one I watched first, having seen the original back in the day and being a big fan of it. One of my favorite Arnold movies, I'd probably say top five is Total Recall. But definitely got to give that a look and see what they did with it in the modern era. Another third triple feature we got is Mad Max, The Road Warrior, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, and Mad Max Fury Road. The first two, obviously, the Mel Gibson ones, Beyond Thunderdome, having Tina Turner as well. Fury Road, Tom Hardy, Charlize Theron. I have never seen Fury Road, and I've seen, I want to say most of Beyond Thunderdome, but I don't think I've seen it from start to finish all the way through. I have seen The Road Warrior a couple of different times. I watched that in film class. I enjoy that one. So the other two, I've definitely got to sit down and just buckle and watch start to finish. Maybe when I get to Franchises Month, because I know that there's a Mad Max movie before The Road Warrior. So that makes four, whether I do it as the the original Mad Max trilogy, or I make it a franchise and throw Fury Road in there as well. There's three to four movies right there to cover at some point here on the show. 
And that's the whole purpose of going out and finding these is to add content to the eventual reviews. You know, there, there's so much good out there that needs to be talked about. And there's so much forgotten stuff that needs to get talked about. And that's what I'm here for. Now, the last ones were all from Big Lots. They're all markdowns. First one is Master Z, IP Man Legacy. It's got Dave Batista in it, which is part of what attracted me to it. Movies with wrestlers. Michelle Yeoh, Tony Ja. I don't know much about the IP Man franchise, but again, Dave Batista, movies with wrestlers. It was only a buck and a quarter marked down. I don't know if you can see that. It was five bucks. Hell of a steal. Definitely got to add that to my collection. We've got Hot Tub Time Machine Part. Two. I've never seen the original, but again, was five dollars marked down to two fifty for the sequel. Definitely willing to give that a check out. Movies with one sequel, and then another pair of films, movie with one sequel to do down the road. There was five bucks marked down to two fifty. The Brady Bunch movie and a very Brady sequel. I grew up with the Brady Bunch in syndication and reruns. Always loved watching those. So, and believe it or not, I've never seen these movies. I've heard very mixed reviews, but the Brady Bunch in of themselves had mixed reviews. Some people thought it was too campy and corny. Some people thought it was awesome. I happen to be one of the people that thought it was awesome. So I'm curious to see what the movies are like and how they took the episodic nature of the old TV show and smushed them into two feature length movies. What do you guys think of the stuff that I picked up for this week? Let me know if you're watching the premiere, leave your thoughts and comments over here. If you're watching on demand later in the day, leave your thoughts and comments down here. Let's engage in that conversation. Let's have that discussion. Let me know what you think of these films. What do you think of Knives Out? What do you think of Looper? Am I going to enjoy Master Z, IP Man Legacy? What about American Psycho? The Hitman's Bodyguard. Have you seen Reminiscence? Let me know. Let me know your thoughts on these movies. Let me know your thoughts on the Brady Bunch movies and a very Brady sequel. Let's get in that conversation. No spoilers, of course. I want to be surprised when I go in there and I see these movies that I've never seen before. But let me know what you think. Let me know which ones you think I'll enjoy based on the fact that you watch my reviews on a regular basis and you kind of gotten a feel of what I like, what I don't like. Let me know. Again, if you're watching the premiere, leave your thoughts and comments over here. If you're watching on demand, leave your thoughts and comments down here. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow right here to the Casa D18 Studios channel for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. As we begin to wrap up my birthday month, we've only got two movies left for that theme. Tomorrow we're going to be taking a look at Dick Tracy, Warren Beatty, Al Pacino, Madonna, Dick Van Dyke, and a slew of others. There's so many great nuggets in this film. You're going to have to just tune in, check out my review, and watch along with me. And then immediately following that at the top of the hour, both right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, as well as over on the Jeff Meacham Network, it'll be another edition of Ask the Dads your opportunity to ask both Jeff and I any questions that may be on your mind, whether it's movies, music, professional wrestling, sports, etc. Get your questions in and ask the dads. You're not going to want to miss out on any of that content, both right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, as well as over on the Jeff Meacham Network. All kinds of good stuff coming this week. Make sure you tune in and enjoy it. 
while you still can. To all my loyal fans and viewers out there, thank you so much for tuning in and joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that notification bell is turned on. That way you never miss any content here on the channel. Make sure you share that video with your family, friends, loved ones, movie lovers, cinephiles, people that love pickup videos, people that just love seeing movies in general, anybody that you can think of that would enjoy today's content, share this video with them, boost up my visibility in the YouTube algorithm so I can eventually get monetized, try to make some money on this endeavor. Thank you once again to everyone who joined me and tuned in today. I appreciate it more than you can ever know, and I will see you guys next time.